Hello everybody, this is Diane. This is going to be a fun video for me. I hope it's going to be fun for you. My friend Lisa, who um, purchased the contents of a house, what was left of it, um, messaged me and asked me to come down to the store where she has a booth because she had some things for me. So as soon as I had a chance, which um, wasn't till late this afternoon because I had my grandsons here, um, I went down. So she gave me some boxes sort of like this and a couple of bags and I got glimpses of what's in there but I haven't gone through them so I am going to look through them and I thought maybe you would want to look through them with me. So this first little box is six of these magazines for slides, slide changers um, and there are slides in them. If I can I can get one out, we'll look at them. It is really stuck in that box. There, it's got metal around the uh, the magazine. I didn't know they were called magazines, like uh, you know, like a, a magazine of artillery or something. Okay, here we go. There. So this would go into the projector and as you push the lever it would pro it would um, progress. And I guess it's going to be a little difficult to get the slides out of there, but it's full. No, there's some empty ones right here, but there are slides in there. And I have six of these containers. Each one holds 36 slides, so whether they're full or not, obviously this one isn't. So anyway, I got slides. So I'm, I'm not going to put that lid back on. Uh, I will be putting slides in my shop at some point. Just as I've almost done cleaning out my uh, yeah, uh, flea market. <laughs> inventory. I got more, but that's cool. This is an awesome find. It's a photograph album and uh, my, no, my friend says she, I don't need to give her anything, but she needs to make a profit on this house and I will make a profit on the things that I put in the shop, hopefully. So I, I did give her um, some money for this batch of stuff. I just want you to know I'm not just taking free stuff. Um, although she has given me free stuff. So this is just an old album, and that actually looks like a World War I uniform to me. It's got, it's like a jodfer with the, like, riding pants, with the part that puffs out there. And this album has a lot of these sepia-toned. There's an automobile, some soldiers. Yeah, look at that. He's wearing knickers. Cool. There's a bigger one. This guy's running. There's a picture of some girls. Looks probably at a girl's school. So that'll be fun to look at as I pull these out. And I've got quite a few, um, then we have black and white. I have quite a few old photographs that I got at flea markets. I'm trying to figure out what's hanging on the line here. I guess it's fish. It's a lot of fish. Um, so I will be putting old photos in my shop too. Look at that. Cute couple. There's a guy with some fish and a cigar in his mouth. We were into fish, I guess. Now, inside the blue box, this says miscellaneous decorations. Nice ones. <laughs> I'm going to dispose of the box. That's not in very good shape. Kind of nasty. There's a Christmas card that doesn't look very old. 2001. Look at this. That could go in a farm journal. 1950 
Walter Miner's farm, it says. And th this house um, that she is cleaning out is in Tunkhannock, Pennsylvania. I could take this out of the frame. These are some cards that aren't very old. They feel a little dusty. I don't particularly like to use new cards. But she told me just dispose of anything that I don't want. <laughs> 2011. This is a 1987 calendar. It's kind of hard to see the year there. It's in kind of rough shape. Oh, it's a whole bunch. Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. Apparently they got one every year and kept them every year. So it's 1970, 71, all the way up to 1987. There's a pink one, 1985. They might be fun to cut up and use with the pretty colors. This is just life insurance, I think. I'll keep that. Hope for the best in 1959 very beat up. We're hoping for the best in 2021, aren't we? So this is the cover off of this book. It's a little calendar. So it's got some quotes about hope and maybe it's a birthday calendar. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Do not attempt to enumerate or st statistically tabulate any particular number of the junior members of the fowl family without previously and positively ascertaining that the period of incubation has reached its maturity. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of words for don't count your chickens before they hatch. That's funny. take a closer look at the little papers that are stuck in there, but yeah, it's a cute little book. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh. oh, these are some dog cards, and these are old. I guess they're all the same. We've got some foxing on them. Irish Setter from an original painting by Winston Elliott. And they were purchased at the Country Cupboard for $2.19. No year. I think that's all that's in there. It looks like it's just envelopes here. But the lid doesn't look like it goes with those dog cards. Why is everything so hard to get out? Yeah. Here's some more cards here. United Methodist Church, Tunkhannock, Pennsylvania. <coughs> okay, I think that's it. None of them look like they go with the lid. There's a current card. Somebody wrote on the front of it. Pretty postcard. Corning. That's what I thought it would be. Corning Museum of Glass. If you've heard of Corning Glass, that's not too far from me. This is just trash in there. And I'll probably just get rid of most of the cards. Maybe I'll give them to Salvation Army. That's pretty, though. Because the cards are not old. Sunshine Sampler 12 All Occasion Cards. Yeah, these these aren't the kind of cards that I like to use, but Salvation Army always sells cards like that. That one's 
damaged. I'll just bundle these up and give them to the Salvation Army. Oh, look at that one. I might keep that one. Looks older. The style of it. Oh, look at that. Okay. So that box was so-so. bag we have a handkerchief with a tatted edge. I don't know if that's tatting or just crochet. It's very loose. I think it might just be crochet. Not very pretty edging on that. There's a photograph in here that I can take out of the frame. Isn't that sweet? Four brothers. The Three Bears. This is a Junior Elf book very stiff so it's not very old it's got a barcode and no no copyright date but isn't that cute I would make a journal with that it's very cute um, this is a board book so I probably won't use that I'll give that to Salvation Army sympathy I don't want to keep sympathy cards uh, the floral ones. This little box has some um, photographs in it. Interesting. This is 1916. There's a lady with a dog. Now, my friend had given me some photographs already that had this red-headed lady and her red dog, remember? That's not a very good picture, though. Here's a pretty old Christmas card. I'll keep that. Not the envelope. And another pretty cute little Christmas card. And it's fuzzy. <laughs> Leading Lady, General Electric Hair Dryer. My mother had a hair dryer, the kind that you put the bonnet over your head and you sat there and it, yeah, I remember doing that. I really looked forward to that. I was a teen. I would use hers and I would put my hair in rollers and big, big giant like um, juice can <laughs> rollers. Um, I would use a big juice can to try to smooth out my hair and I looked forward to it because I lived in a house with a lot of siblings and I would get under that hair dryer and read a book and have some peace and quiet but in the 70s the style was long um, yeah long straight hair and I had long curly hair so I would straighten my hair with juice cans this is a Christmas card you would put some money in the little slot there so that's cute I wish they still made dryers like that I don't like using blow dryer. I don't use a blow dryer. I let my hair dry. <clears throat> All on its own. I, I just dry my bangs because it would be ridiculous if I didn't. I'd have all these little tiny curls all over the front of my head. This metal box has more slides. This part here is kind of cool. And it's just got slides. She said she doesn't want this, the box back. I don't want the box. Um, it's, I don't know, maybe this metal piece would come out that's got all the slots for the slides because I don't know what you would use it for otherwise. But I'm pretty sure I don't want the box anyway, so if somebody wants the box, let me know. This is a Victoria's Secret box, and it was all taped up. It's quite dirty. Oh, 
there's some handkerchiefs that say Phyllis. I don't know if anybody would want them, but I'll wash them and see. I've got some old tags here. She said she threw these envelopes away and then thought that I would probably want them, so she got them back out. And I said, thank you. They have the little metal clasp on them, these little tiny ones. I don't know if I've ever seen little coin envelopes with the metal clasp. There's an old letter. I don't know how old. And an airmail envelope. I can't read the year on it. Doesn't appear to be very old. Oh, 2003. So that's not old. I might keep parts of this though. Always believe in love. Some little business cards. Happy Valentine's Day. Northeast Pennsylvania Scenic Portrait Postcard. Nineteen ninety-three. I do like the airmail envelopes. It's a little drawing for Christmas. Little drummer boy. So I think what I'll do is maybe cut off the stamps and parts of the envelopes. Because they're not they're not that old. I don't wanna keep all this stuff. 1989, Israel and the Messiah. There's a current folded note with a cute raccoon and a snail. And some sunflowers. These are folded notes. An owl. Perfect. So these are for fall. The sunflowers and the maize or Indian corn. That's pretty. Aw. Aw, look at the woolly bears. Is that what they're called? Can't remember now. I think we called them woolly bears, but they're little fuzzy caterpillars. And there's a mouse in the snow. Oh, antique shops and flea markets are two things I adore. I'd much prefer shopping there than in any fancy store. Well, isn't that true? I have to um, read that. It's a whole bunch of these. Um, 1978, it says. Current Critters. What is this? Piece of fabric? A scarf or something? I don't think I'll keep that. Do I smell perfume? Oh, there's a little envelope of parsley. New Zealand. That card's from 1976. 1975. This is leather. I wonder what it was. Somebody cut something out of it, I think. Yeah. These are just scraps of leather. I will use that. Some yellowed photographs. Oh, it's because there's tape on them. Good. I'll keep the tape, too. She's in a church, I think. Or, no, an office. I thought that was a track rack. It's information rack. And there's some more photographs in here. More fish. <laughs> this 
a lady with her dog. It's, it's got that same beehive hairdo, so it's probably the red-headed lady. But this isn't the red setter. These are cute pictures. She's a cute lady. I wonder if it's Phyllis. It keeps getting all the mail. When you get your deer, don't waste it. I won't keep that. Blue crocheted heart or cross. And some dirty tissue paper. That's all the stuff I'm not going to keep. And I have one more box to go through. This box is a bit, a little bit bigger, so I'm not going to bring it up here, but it has a Christmas Ideals magazine that looks quite old. 1968. I told her that I like um, handwritten recipes. There's a couple in here. Sorry, this is covered with saran wrap. So full. I think that's, uh, we saw that picture earlier, didn't we? Oh, there's another handwritten recipe that was <coughs> used and has little splatters of pumpkin on it. I think it's a pumpkin pie recipe. These are covered in saran wrap too. Oh, look at those awesome pictures. Factoryville, Pennsylvania. Cool. And some more slides. This says 12 embossed color notes with matching envelopes. Let's see what's really in here. I guess it's the frame that's embossed. I found smaller cards similar to this in an antique store that had Pennsylvania pictures. These are New York pictures. And there's this really pretty purple stationery. Isn't that pretty? And one envelope. So this is Niagara Falls. That's um, a tower in, in um, Canada, I believe. It's on the Canadian side. Tupper Lake in the Adirondacks. Autumn Glory, New York. And Springtime in Central Park. And along the Hudson River, Breakneck Mountain in the background, New York. So those are cool. And then this is the last batch right here. Here's an old map. This is like one of those huge fold-out maps. And it's got pretty colors on it. Oh, this is nice. Got that, unfortunately. Some foxes. Ooh, butterfly. Art print of the year. Baltimore butterfly. Some seashells on a postcard. Acrobat of the Alders. This is from a magazine. It's a woodcock. There's a lot of magazine things in here, which I probably won't keep. These look like um, field and stream type things, because apparently they had a hunting or fishing lodge. 
Oh, that's pretty, though. I like that picture without the fly on it. A pheasant. It's a pretty Irish setter. It's a calendar. 1973. There's a photograph of a smiling baby. Aw. That's adorable. Christmas card is just the front part of it. Some birds. Christmas card. Christmas card. That's pretty. Looks like a calendar. Piece of a calendar. My Lucing, Pennsylvania. A rough, a male roughed grouse. Another Irish setter. gift wrap that was used, but it's pretty, isn't it? It's got flowers and birds and stitchery and buttons. This was sealed, not opened. Maybe it was and just got stuck again. pretty. That would make a lovely journaling card. I could cut that piece out. That's a pretty uh, vintage card. And some Christmas seals with wildlife. Aren't they pretty? These are all the same, but they have different quantities of black in them. Maybe they get blacker and blacker as they go. Looks like it. Oh, that one's lighter again. Odd. I'll keep some of the nicer ones. Put them in a dog bundle. Uh, I think that's everything. So there was some good stuff, lots of slides, uh, old photographs, and the Ideals book are my favorite. I love the leather, I love the old stationery piece, and some other, there's some other good things in here. So, um, yeah, it's really fun having a friend doing these sort of things and saving things for me. So I hope you enjoyed going through it with me, and uh, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.